like what's available in the community and then you know we can be able to build a stronger youth community and so that's the goal of MyCom. MyCom is a network and it's it's a connecting kind of network so okay. um, we're connected here in the neighborhood but connected um, around the city as well so like say like say you want to get into another you know, neighborhood or whatever, mm -hmm. then through my time, that could possibly happen. See okay. what I'm saying? So, um, um, I hope that you guys, you know, want to participate. And like I said, you guys, you guys meet. Which well, the, for the program, it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. And so the kids come there every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday? That's right. What time? They come from 4 o'clock to 7. Okay. And do, do they eat there too? Yes. Okay. They provide. Um, from the rec center? Mm hmm um, so our main goal today was actually to, to, because we're planning a um, MLK Day celebration mm -hmm. or event. So our main goal today is to kind of um, talk about that event and what can happen. And I mean, a lot of our key players are not here. So I mean, it is what it is. But, um, can I first? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. You want to know, just like to be right. in 30 minutes. Forgot. Okay, so we're here. So we are going to be planning a bike rodeo. We actually are calling it, that's like what we've been calling it, our working title. It's the Collinwood, Cy Collinwood Cycle Celebration. Mm. And it's going to be a neighborhood event that's not just about it's learning safety, sharing the road, but there's also going to be a component where we're going to have, work with the Ohio City Bike Co-op to train bike ambassadors. So they're gonna learn to fix bikes and also there's a safety component. So really what I wanna know before we get that into place, you know, we'll reach out and you'll give me some names of some youth that you think are gonna be perfect for it. It's youth eight to 18. And it is, um, <laughs> it's all right. Can I see that? <laughs> and so we want to know what is best for the training? I thought it was going to be 10 hours, but that seems maybe too much. But like, is it better to do something in the evenings or on a Saturday? Or what is going to be best? Like, what is a, what's best for youth? I don't know. I'm not a, it's been a while um, since I've been a youth. It's not going to be a Saturday. Hmm? It's not going to be a Saturday. OK. Mm -hmm. If you can do a Saturday, it's not going to be in the morning. Yeah. OK. So best would be, though, in the? Yeah after work, or after school? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it all depends on who you get. Because right? I know here, Saturdays, kids will be, there's a lot of kids. There's a lot there's of kids after school. Too. But if you do, there will be kids. It's just a matter of, from one thing, one thing that I know is, how do I describe it? It's a Saturday. So the way they're looking at it is, I'm in programs all week. Mm -hmm. I'm at school all week. When the weekend comes, oh, I finally get a Saturday. It's really, it's just really the way it's just delivered to the mm -hmm. students. Yeah. That doesn't mean a fun event. Everyone is going to be there. It's kind of like the way you promote it or, mm -hmm. you know, hype it up to them. Because then if they feel like they're missing out on something, it's like, okay, I, I'm definitely going to be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a Saturday is a free day for them. That's, but don't take the whole free day. Take like Saturday morning. Or even if you did a Sunday, it would be a lot better. But nothing like it. That's what I was thinking of Sunday. Sunday. Well, Sunday. Get upset with church. Church. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> so, so Saturday. Saturday. I think Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. 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 And I believe so safety. Right. Bike safety? Yeah. So do they get, a, what do they get? Do they get a stipend? Do they get, or do they get a, I mean, is there some payoff at the end? Or <coughs> the payoff right. just that you learn how to use your own I, I think the payoff is just that you get some. That you, you get a bike? And then we're trying to work on that. Okay. Drive we're working on that. Tickets for a bike. And that would be mm -hmm. good. Because we yeah. are. Because yeah. yeah. wants not be a set to be honest. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, we're, we're just, I don't want to promise a bike. Mm -hmm. How many kids are you trying to get involved we in? We want to get 
30 kids into the program, and then there's going to be 10 that are deemed the boy kids. I think eventually we figure that like there will be plenty of kids that drop out. They'll drop out. <laughs> so then we'll have, you know, like our goal is to have 10 that make it through. And, or maybe those 10 kids are the kids okay. that get a bike. I don't what know. Is the, how long is it? Right. It's, it's 10 hours total of a course. So, so it could be okay. two hours a week for five weeks? Yeah. So I guess that's part of it is what is, what is the best way to retain two hours a week for five weeks? Okay. Um, any longer, nobody's going to remain the attention span. Yeah. It all, what it depends what your teaching. When you say when you teach bikes, are you talking about change? Because these days, you got bikes. You could put rims on your bikes. You could put uh, mirrors on your bikes. You could put stereos on your bikes. You could do a lot yeah. with bikes. But if you're just talking about regular basics, how to fix your tire, tighten your chain, I think it might get a little boring. That's you know fair. I mean, I don't know if I didn't. I yeah, so the context. So right, what is the curriculum? You don't know what the curriculum is. I don't know the yeah. curriculum. You have to look at that before you make a decision. And what age group are you targeting? Like I said, it's 8 to 18. So I, I think we really, we're looking for kids that maybe need something. And maybe this is a something because some kids, you know, they're really mechanical, but they don't have an outlet for it. No, Kids, or like if I got some of my kids, would one of us have to be there with our kids? Or? Someone, I won't, but one of the people on my team will be there. Okay. Um, so sort of one class, maybe like all, all, all the way together? I think, well, I think it probably depends on what kind of ages we get, if they'd be all together or not. Uh -huh. I don't want to, like, if we're like, oh yeah, it'll be like the teenagers, and like there's like one teenager, I like, feel like it's probably going to be more middle school kids that will. Yeah. Or do they get some type of, uh, or is it possible they can get some type of certificate? Oh, yeah. Like I know one thing for yeah. our kids, mm -hmm. so when we go and we talk to our kids, we let them know, like, you know, learning life tools is going to help you in life. But not only that, but we, we do hire, like, we got jobs available for the community, too. Mm -hmm. It's mostly commission-based, but still we're opening up jobs for the community, and we're letting them know, you know, who, who is more likely to be hired, a person that went to an after-school program, learning skills, and you know, focusing on homework, like we're talking about homework and stuff like that, who's more likely to be hired? You're going to get a certificate in here? Yes, you know. of your participation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. Just, yeah. no I yeah. think yeah. That'll, yeah. that'll sell yeah. for my kids. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, oh, right. yeah, man, I can get a And even sometimes the teachers will give them extra points, extra mm -hmm. credit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're definitely doing a certificate uh, Yeah, they need volunteer hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing from uh, from our company, what we're trying, what we're trying to do, um, we have a mixture of six to twelve players, but right now we only have one classroom, and we're coming to the realization that we probably want them separate. Mm -hmm. We wanted to shoot for the overall goal, but it is better to separate them. So now we're kind of trying to focus on just six to eight graders. But now we have some teenagers, and it's like, <sighs> yeah. So, but we do ultimately want to make that split. But we do have more middle schoolers than than high school. That's a good time to mm -hmm. to start planting the seed for them to, yeah. Yeah. to make um, so they don't make <coughs> mistakes before mm -hmm. they become teens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to kind of get them in the right direction. In the programming, you should do. In regards to that, because if you got an 18 or 16 year old trying to know when he has a flat tire or something like that, you know the kids, the different age groups. Mm -hmm. I just want to say mm -hmm. is different curriculum. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what I like, said. So like it's eight to eight C, and I'm like, okay, that's a weird group. Mm -hmm. yeah, see, what far like, far. see what I see. See what I see. It's a gap. So we try to tell our instructor to be universal when they teach. Like, if you're going to talk about it in the simplest terms, then, you know, talk about it a little bit more sophisticated for the older crowd. But what's starting to happen that we're seeing is, I guess the instructor's catering more to one crowd. So it's like, ah, oh, it's, it's too basic. I feel like this is a baby class. 
y'all gotta have a balance of this is too mm-hmm. tedious to keep going back and forth with trying to balance in one classroom. That's why we're going to seven mm-hmm. years old. Mm-hmm. An eighteen year old don't wanna be with a fifteen a fifteen year old don't wanna be with an eighteen year old. Twelve year old don't wanna be with it. you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And none of them want to be with an eight-year-old. Like, yeah. right. <laughs> they're not comfortable with that till about age 23 to 25 where they can hang out with eight-year-olds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right then it's like church. I remember having three sons at different ages and they just like wouldn't go anywhere and they mm-hmm. only hang out all the time. Mm-hmm. So what's the date? I don't have a date yet. I definitely I know we're looking at March and April and then the Hollywood cycle, sell, sell, whatever we decided. We have a hashtag though, right? It's mm-hmm. <laughs> so what do you call it? Hollywood cycle celebration. Okay, C C C. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, so, so that would be in, that'll be in mid May. Okay. May. So the cycle celebration is what? Is it a culminating event to the? For them and the and the community as a whole, so we'll recognize our bike ambassadors and what they went through there, and there'll also be an opportunity for them to teach the community their skills. Mm. Like in general, like how cool is it if like I have an eight year old teaching me how to change a tire? Mm-hmm. Right. You know, like that's so the, that's empowering to the youth. To them. So yeah. and the celebration is not what is what is the celebration that day? You haven't done that far yet. We have some tentative plans of like a bike r- community bike ride. Oh, okay. Teaching. We would like the youth in the that go through the program to create the kind of educational mm-hmm. program. And, like we're like, oh well, it has to be fun. Well, I can think I'm gonna create something fun for a kid, but I'm probably not. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and. So the idea is, like, we were like, oh, what if we have, like, some Jeopardy thing or, like, you know, school versus schools? Well, that would be up to the kids to kind of be like, oh, this is how we should, how we want to teach mm-hmm. the neighborhood. Hmm. Yeah, you, uh, these bikes, are they already built? Sometimes kids have to see. If, you, if they see these fancy, shiny bikes and right. they see it full done, you got the attention. All right. Now you got to take them. Well, what does it take to build that? I want that. Right. And, okay. oh, I got to do this to get that? All right, you got my attention. I'm class every day now. So where does the, okay. where does the bikes come from? That's right. The that's the yeah. That's the, that's that's the next question, though. Where do the bikes come from? I mean, there's a lot of people out here that do their own bikes and they build bikes. Right. And it's just finding the right company or right. finding the right person that has that. Where do the bikes come from? Right far, that. Oh, they are, huh? No, no, they are from. So the bikes that are that they're going to be repairing and fixing are from the Ohio City Bike Co-op. Oh, okay. And then it's like a 